Hey guys, welcome back to Return of the Obra Din. Funny story, I'm not actually supposed to be recording this today, but I couldn't not. I am a little bit obsessed with this right now. I've been thinking of it non-stop and I know that I will not be able to rest unless I play more of this today. So we're going in. Between recording the last episode and this episode, I've now edited all of the previous three videos and in doing so I think I've seen a few things that I maybe didn't pick up on the first time. I've got a page of notes to go and double check at some point and I really feel that this episode is going to be awesome. I cannot wait to play. Let's get started. All right so this is where we got up to. We got up to here. I have actually had a thought and a theory that thing over there, you know what I think that is? I think that's a shell. I think that is one of those funky shells that they've been pulling up from the bottom of the ocean. And what I'm thinking may actually happen is when we leave the ship in the boat with that fellow that took us here, I'm thinking that those things, those creatures are gonna get us. And that's one more fate we'll have to solve. <laughs> that is my guess. That is absolutely my guess. Now, I don't know if I've noticed this before, but it seems to be quite windy. I, I can't remember noticing that. I'm sorry. <laughs> what I'm going to do is... Oh, that guy is new. I was going to go all over the boat and try and find someone that I haven't looked at to know what to do next. And I think we're up to this bit. So let's check out this fella. Hong Seng Lao, you have been found guilty by self-confession of the murder of Nunzio Pasquale. <laughs> As captain of this ship, and by the authority of the East India Company, and thus the Crown of England, I sentence you to death by firing line. <laughs> Mr. Wolf, when you are ready. Right, sir. Ready, men. In. Fire. All right, lots of names in that. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Okay, so they're saying, no, 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 they're trying to stop. We know that guy's name. Mr. Wolf, when you are ready. <sighs> ready, aim, fire. I don't think he actually shot. I think that could be perhaps Mr. Wolf. That's our boy, the captain. He is giving the orders. I think he's said, ready, aim, fire. And these boys have thus fired. Are you the carpenter? I think I recognize you. All right. Oh, is that the monkey? The monkey or the goat? Oh. What have you got in your hand? Very, very interesting scene. I think this is going to help me a lot. Hok Sang Lao. Right, so that's him. That guy is Hok Sang Lao. You've been, you have been found guilty by self-confession of the murder of Nunzio Pasqua. I think Nunzio, he's the guy on the floor, wrapped up, perhaps? No, he has done nothing wrong. Miss Lim, it's too late. So, is that a false confession, perhaps? Mr. Wolf, when you are ready. Right, sir. Ready, men? Ready, men aim fire yeah i think mr wolf was the one giving the instructions okay so that guy is hok seng lao and he died by i would say shot but is there like a execution no 
I would just say shot then. Shot by gun. Oh, by an unknown attacker? Oh, we may actually have to look a bit closer to see if it was one person's gun in particular. Oh no. That is going to be hard to narrow down. It looks like there's only one shot that struck. And I think it belongs to that fellow. Do we know your name, sir? Henry Brennan. I'm quite sure. I'm quite sure. That... Oh, I'm just going to follow. See if I can follow. Yeah, it's, it's that one. That one's actually gone in. And that's... That's Henry Brennan. Okay. So then you, sir, were shot by Henry Brennan. There he is. Okie dokie. <laughs> now, Mr. Wolf. I'm pretty sure that's Mr. Wolf. Ready men, aim, fire. He's giving the instruction. You can see that his hand, he's giving that instruction. So that is, to me, without a doubt, Mr. Wolf, the gunner. Oh, gunner's mate. Yes! <laughs> awesome. Nice. Great. Oh, that was O'Hagan. Excellent. Yes, 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 yes. So that's 18 fates now, correct? I think we have to work out the fates of 50. So I'm sort of getting... I'm sort of getting there. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. I'm going to take one moment just to have a look around at everyone on board here and making sure that I know who all these guys are. Oh, you're the cook. Okay, nice. Oh, that's the artist. You're the artist. Yes. So you're there drawing. Nice. That's the first time. No, no, no. That's not the first time I've seen him. He was... He was the fellow that was out the back and getting getting crushed. All right. Uh, let's take a bit of a look. See if we know these guys. So we know you, your bang. Ooh. I don't know if we know your name. Hang on. Oh, we can work it out now. Because this fellow is the only uh, Formosa passenger left. So that has to be this fellow. I'm pretty sure that's him. That lady. She is Miss Lim, yeah. She is Miss Lim. She's part of the Formosa royalty. So then this guy has to be the last one in the Formosan people that we haven't named. We've named all them. So then this guy is the only one left. Wait, wait. I'm thinking he's number 25. But I do just want to check my crew list to make sure um, because that list hasn't given me all the people. 25, Formosa. Yes, so that's him. He's the only one left. So then uh, that's him. That's him. All right, so we can, we can do him. So he's the only Formosa one left where is that there you are nice <laughs> done i uh, don't know who you are sir 
I think you are just a seaman. There's not much that I can... Not much that I can deduce from the, these people here. What's that? Oh, a little birdie. Yeah, it's a chicken. Alright, so these people... Not doing that much. These guys... I feel that they are possibly riggers, top men, possibly top men if they are up on board the deck. All right, so that's the gunner. I don't know the gunner's mate, but we do have four gentlemen here firing. He's a seaman. Okay. Who are you then, sir? We don't know. Don't know. He's a seaman. Then I have a feeling that these other fellows must be seamen as well. But there's way, way, way too many of them to narrow down. All right, I think I've done not too badly for that scene. <laughs> you don't like the noise, do you, sir? I don't know who you could be. All right, I think we're ready. <laughs> oh, this fellow. Oh, we know his name. It was in, it was in that last dialogue. So they're saying that that guy murdered that guy. Yeah, they claim that that person murdered this guy by self. He confessed to it, but... Oh. But I don't think so. My arm was just doing some funky things. Oh, because I... Okay, we don't want to leave. <laughs> Busy. Hello? Who is there? Who is that? Is someone hurt? Senor Nichols, is that you? What are you doing down here? Step. Here, let me help you. Ooh. Senior Nichols, is that you? But that's not. It is. That is Edward Nichols. I thought he may have been lying when he said that. Oh, wow. Oh, the shell. He wanted it. He's, um... He stabbed that guy, I think. He's attacked that guy. Is that a knife? Yep, yeah, I can barely, barely, barely make out a knife. So, Nichols attacked that guy. He possibly killed that fellow as well to get that, to get the shell. Chapter 3, Murder. Yes, it is definitely making sense. Hello? Who is there? Who is that? Is someone hurt? Eh? Senior Nichols, is that you? What are you doing down here? Hello, yes. I He wouldn't have lied about who he was because his voice would be recognisable. All fine here, just sorting some things, i.e. killing that guy on the floor and getting the shell. Watch your step here, let me help you. He's He was um, pretending to help him but then stabbed him. Alright, so it's that guy... 
uh, I don't know who he is, but he got um, he got knifed by Nichols. Who could he be? Who could that guy be? And that guy. Oh, hang on. He got shot. I put him down as shot. Oh, so that is right. Okay, let me check this out. I thought he had a spear in him. Oh, no, it's a sp oh there's a spear beside him. He was carrying the spear. I've marked down that he's been shot by Brennan and it's correct. So, okay. Alright, so Nichols is um, going after that guy. I don't... Oh, I don't... Um... Hello, who was there? Who was that? Is someone hurt? He did have a slight accent, though I cannot be sure of of what that is. If he's down here though. No, he came down. He came down to this level. Okay, they want that shell. Look, I'm very sure that the pattern that we see radiating off the shell is the same as what we see in the ocean. I'm just going to have a very quick look down the crew list. He had an accent. He could possibly be that fellow. But it was sort of like a Spanish sort of accent, if I had to guess. I think that he could have possibly be, um, been the bosun's mate, but I'm... I'm not entirely sure right now. I will think about that. He was down here, so he's of... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so there's three bodies in chapter three. Murder. Alright, so what I need to do now is I'm just going to uh, try and find a body somewhere that we haven't found. There must be someone somewhere. So I'll just take some time looking around. So I've looked everywhere on this middle deck. I cannot find anyone new. I am uh, slightly lost now. Hang on, is that new? That's new. All right. I found something. I don't think I have explored much on this bottom deck at all. So this is the very bottom. Yes, this is the very bottom deck. So this is going to be all new for me. There's something there. Body in a barrel. This must be way back in the beginning when they are just loading they're loading barrels and cargo onto the ship oh oh no he got oh he's being crushed Alright, so that's awful. He got crushed. He's being crushed by... Oh, there's... You can see a lot of a lot more people up there. Okie dokie. That's not good. He got crushed by, like, falling cargo. 
Loose Cargo, Chapter 1, yes! It's back in the beginning. <laughs> nice. An unidentified stowaway expecting free passage and eventual freedom was instead crushed inside a falling barrel. Oh! Unidentified stowaway. Is that him there? Oh, okay. So you. Oh no, that's you. We don't have enough info about you just yet. But it does say unidentified. Does that mean that I can mark him down as unidentified? Okay, so we've got a few people. Who are you, sir? You're a seaman. Oh, that's Syed. He died from the illness. Another seaman. You're dressed kind of similarly. You're a passenger. Oh, you're one of the royal members. Perhaps he was overseeing his cargo getting boarded and loaded. I would have to say that perhaps that fellow, um, perhaps he is an unknown seaman. I'm going to mark that in there because I believe that all these people would likely be seamen. All right, <laughs> I'm happy with that. I don't have enough info about you yet, sir. But, I mean, I would love... Can I put unknown passenger? I'm going to put that there for now because it does say an unidentified stowaway. How would they know his ID? How would they know his name? That's what it is. That's what it is then. He's unknown because he died immediately. Okay. I feel good about that decision. Right, and we're unable to go upstairs because the stairs are just blocked right now. But there are a couple of other people present, but... I don't know who that guy is. He could be... He would have to be a seaman if the, if the other guys are. I'm just going to pop that down there for now. I can see a couple more like hanging around, but they're too far. All right. I'm happy with that progress. This is where we get to put down what this fellow died from, I think. Oh. Oh. Where is he? Did they just keep him in? They must have. Oh, no, there he is. All right, so he, he's been crushed. Yes. like the exact same scene we just had I don't see any difference oh okay there it's slightly slightly different
wait, wait, there was an accent there, down below, wait, wait, down below. Who would have been saying that? Don't know. <sighs> so loose cargo. At least we can put down um, the unknown passenger. So he died because he was crushed by cargo. I don't know if we'll ever be able to uh, find out his name. Make way coming through all up stern neath the tiller. Lower away. Oi, wait, wait, no, down below. Twelve others were present. Wait, wait, no, down below. He wouldn't have been saying that. I'd say it's most likely that fellow that was saying, wait, wait, no, down below. Just going to see if there's any... Oh, there's a couple of nationalities there that I don't think I'll be able to narrow down. Right, not much has changed between that previous scene and this one. Wait, wait, no, down below. Could that guy have been giving that instruction? Down below, because it does sound maybe that he's not down below and he's warning about what's happening down below. Okay. <laughs> a few unknowns in that one. A couple of unknowns. But that was... That was our first death by the look of it. Yes, because that, that happened way at the beginning. All right. So we've got you. So now what? <laughs> now we're back um, searching for more bodies. Oh, that's something. Okay, so that is uh, one of those crabs. They've tied it up. All right, so they have secured this crab, tied it up. Ooh. He's valiantly trying to fight off that thing. He has, oh. Goodness me, he's been uh, very much impaled. We've got a fellow up there trying to fight that thing off. Who's that gentleman? He is the carpenter. All right, <laughs> I think I've got down what the, oh, who are you? Oh, it's that fellow. All right, it's not too much happening in this scene. It's a nice, easy one. But maybe looks can be deceiving. Soldiers of the sea. All right, so, oh, now we can work out how the carpenter died. Okay, so he obviously a hideous monster perished simultaneously with a brave but unfortunate soul. So he got spiked or speared. Hang on, wait. I need to I need to just look. Oh man. Oh, I 
okay, he's been stabbed. But would that be speared or spiked? As I already know his name, I'm just going to... Okay, well that didn't do anything. Could I put spiked? Spiked by a terrible beast. God, I don't know. You're that fellow. We know you. Yeah. What's a topman doing down here, though? I would say that you, sir, you got killed by that beast. But we aren't up to that part yet. Oh, there's another fellow. Topman. Unknown. We, well, we might find out in the next scene. Uh, I'm just not sure about uh, the carpenter. I'm going to pop down a note that it could be spiked or speared. Because I'm not sure how finicky the game is. It, it's either one of those two. Okay. Let's leave. I think there's a few more deaths coming up in that scene with that beast. Really? I did notice that it was getting windy. Finish your business and come down here. Oh wow, it is raining. I'm not finished though. <laughs> oh, look at the, the oceans, the ocean. All right, um, I'm not finished. I don't know if I go down there, then it finishes the game, which I am not wanting to do. I have other things <laughs> I'm needing to do, including all those notes that I've written down there. So I'm just going to have a look at those notes now. Something I noticed when editing was this. I think this is, um, I think this is really, really important. Look, Henry Evans. This book was written by Henry Evans and he wants the book returned to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco from Henry Evans. And I noticed that he is actually a, 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 a crew member. Look, Henry Evans, Surgeon England, unknown. I think he is alive in Morocco, where I don't know where Morocco is. I don't know where Morocco is. Hey Google, where is Morocco? According to Wikipedia, Morocco is a northern African country bordering the North Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean. Thank you. <laughs> so Morocco is in Africa. I'm sorry, I apologize. I didn't know. I'm going to just pop that there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. I can cross that one off my list. So Henry Evans, the surgeon, is alive. He was speared. Yes, he was spiked. Excellent. I can cross that off too. Nice, nice, nice. All right, we're getting somewhere. I'm going to cross that off. Henry Evans and the carpenter spiked. I can cross that off. Nice. So what I guess I want to do now is 
Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Have we found... I've seen all those chapters. I've seen all the chapters. I don't know how interesting or how boring this is going to be, but I really feel that what I need to do is go back over every single chapter and do and do everything again. <laughs> That's just what I, I feel I need to do. So the first guy that died was that fellow. But you know what? It didn't say that that was right, did it? This unknown passenger was crushed by falling cargo. First memory, perished in loose cargo. Depicted an underway sketch. Yes. Show memories. So that's him. Oh, it's not right. It says... He was a stowaway. No, he cannot be a stowaway. Because otherwise he wouldn't be in the picture. Oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> I want to go straight back to that memory, but I think to do that I have to go all the way downstairs and look at it again where's downstairs again down here yeah see this is this is the point where i don't know how interesting the game is going to be to watch from now on because it's just going to be me going over everything again that fellow so that this guy I don't know who he is. Hang on, he's... He wasn't in a barrel? He wasn't a stowaway? That's not a stowaway at all. I've got confused. He's not a stowaway. That's all the semen together. If you look at his clothes, he's wearing the same kind of clothes. Wait, 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 wait. I don't think he's a passenger. I don't think he's a passenger. I think he is... I'm going to pop him down as unknown seaman. He is not a stowaway. I, I must have had it in my mind that there was a stowaway here. But there's not. Because he's not... I thought he was hiding in a barrel. I don't know where I... I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know. I, I, I'm confused about something. <laughs> as, as is uh, normal, I guess. So all of these people are seamen. I would be quite sure that most of the people down on the bottom deck doing stuff like this are seamen 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 you know what this fellow you're going down sir as an unknown <laughs> okay so I've kind of I've, I've narrowed that down a little bit I don't know if this is right just to go back over everything. Yeah, all of these people on this lower deck just honestly seem. Okay, all right, I've got it, I've got it. Okay, let's go. 
So we have that guy. He got crushed. Oh, that door is locked. Why? How do I unlock that door? I'm just wanting to take another look at this one. So this is chapter one, Loose Cargo, part two of two. Yeah, you're the fellow that got, um, you're that guy that got crushed. I must have been mistaken. No, no, no. Look, 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 look. And I, an unidentified stowaway expecting free passage and eventual freedom was instead crushed inside. A falling barrel. Okay, that's where I've got confused there. Because he's in one of those barrels. So I don't think you do anything with him at all. <sighs> okay, so I think what I'm doing is correct i'm just going to go through every single chapter and try and identify the people in the chapters try and see what they're doing try and work out exactly where they are maybe i will find some sort of uh clue as i'm going along and and yeah we'll go from there so that's been chapter two no no that was chapter one loose cargo and now i'm going to go and check out chapter two a bit of cold all right so that's where that fellow was he died via illness so how do i how do i get to that location that's the all up deck i'm gonna go and find that guy I wish I could like highlight that guy that I need. That's where I want to go. I need to go up. So I'm going to make my way up there. Right, it looks like we're there. So is that, that must be him there. The clock says um, chapter two, part one. So I think that's that, chapter two, part one. Right, <laughs> let's watch this again. Okay, so we've got two Russians playing cards. Syed, we've worked out him. So we have two Russians playing cards here. We've worked out you, you're a topman, a seaman. Hang on, wait, what nationality are you? Leonard, oh, you're Russian. Okay, 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 okay. Wait. That hasn't been ticked. Oh, because the it's an unknown attacker. But those are the two Russians. Would it stand to reason that this guy is a Russian as well? They're, they would be playing together. There's another guy from Russia. So in total we have one, two. I think there's three Russian crew members. It just makes sense to me that they would probably be playing together. Russia, Russia, Russia. And that's the only guy that I haven't identified. 
I think he is possibly that guy, Alexei Toporov. Because the Russians are, they're all playing together. They're all playing their cards together in, in a little a little gang. I think that possibly makes sense to me. This guy, he has eluded me. I haven't been able to find him. Number 37. We can see legs that and shoes right <laughs> I mean barely I gotta say though this guy's shoe number 59 who are you sir George Shirley seaman from England see look at his shoe it's got those dots down the side and a line that looks like his shoe dots down the side and a line number 37 so he was a, a seaman number 37 oh, I was a topman okay well I tried <laughs> I think I'm happy with those fellas that guy is the sick guy we've worked him out Oh. oh wait 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 um where where am I where am I uh this Syed Syed get up drink something that um is that Indian Syed get up I think that I don't know what language that is if you're concerned about your mate here Syed he's a seaman from India I believe could you be a seaman from India oh there's two he's either one of these ones <laughs> I haven't really figured out anything more about this section I'm sorry <sighs> unknown soul I did have him down as the carpenter but I realized my mistake um, I took that X as being number 10 but it's not it's not Roman numerals at all but I'm really not sure who he is he's with the other seamen though so I mean it is entirely possible that is one of those guys all right um on to the next one i guess so we're up to we wanting we're wanting to look at now this one in the surgeon's room okay so in the surgeon's room is it in here nope Nope. Oh, this guy. It's you because I can see the watch says chapter two, part two. So that's two English fellows talking. It's those fellows. They're talking to each other. Okay, so you're... That's the surgeon. Okay, that's Henry Evans. Okay, you're... you're... 
You're decided, yes. You're decided. You're not decided. I don't know how he died. He is obviously, though, an unknown officer. So he's either the third or the fourth mate. Yeah. Because that's the captain. That's the first mate. He's either the second. No, he's either the third or the fourth mate. And you? Who be you? Surgeon's mate. Okay. And you're correct. All right. So I'm, I'm definitely narrowing this down. It, it is just a case of bit by bit uh, deductions and looking thoroughly at every scene, seeing where people are, seeing what people are doing. Because that's a clue, like where they are, what they're doing, what room they're in. You fellas. Unknown seamen, okay. Okay, you're correct. You're correct. Okay, I'm happy with that scene. Let's move on to part three. On the all up deck. Oh, the cow. Okay. The cow one. This one. Chapter two, part three. Okay, there's a couple of accents in that. So we've already figured out that guy. He was Charlie. Yep, the midshipman. One of these guys is obviously the butcher. I think that's him. Yep, the butcher. There was an Irish... There was an Irish ac accent in that, wasn't there? One of them was um, Irish chappy. Who was the Irishman? Okay. There's two people there that were talking. I'm just going to check what nationality the butcher was. Ireland. Okay, so he was he was Irish. Damn. So who could you be? He was English. He's standing with quite a few prominent people with the same sort of outfits on. I think he could be a midshipman. Same with him. Midshipman. Oh, there's only one midshipman. No, 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 there's two. Peter Milroy and Thomas Lanky. No, 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 I'm, I've got that wrong. I apologize. <laughs> you have to look at this one to see. 
There's three midshipmen. Oh, okay. You're a midshipman. So I don't know why they're all there together. What what does a midshipman do? Officer in training assists various officers and tradesmen in order to learn ship operations. Okay, usually of privileged status. So I definitely think that these guys Yep, they're they're midshipmen. They're the three midshipmen. This is going to be really helpful to narrow it down uh, to their occupations. I definitely feel that I am getting, I'm getting the hang of it. I, uh, I feel, I feel better. I feel, I feel good. So you, sir, have the little monkey. Oh, you're the surgeon, Henry. All right. I've done in in that scene. I don't think I made any progress. I apologize. No progress was made in that scene. We're going to go back to a bit of cold and work our way through to the next bit. I'll murder. I'll keep going for a little bit. I just don't want these videos to be too long. I don't want them to get too boring. But we are going back up to the main deck, the cargo deck. So chapter three, part one. Hello. Who is there? Who is that? Senor Nichols, is that you? What are you doing down here? Oh, hello, yes. All fine here. Just uh, sorting some things. Watch, watch your step. Here, let me help you. And he kills him. Okay, we've only just done this one, so... I don't know how much more I'm going to pick up here. So I've only just done it. So, we've got you... That guy, he, he had an accent. Where is he and what is he doing? <laughs> what, what sort of accent? Hello, Signor Nichols. It, it, it sort of sounded, oh, I don't really know. Who are you sitting with? Who are you sitting with? He just seems to be having a having a nice time but he's also with the surgeon's mate passenger captain steward he's just having fun here he has an accent i can't pick that accent it's not french it could possibly be polish italian He has an accent though, so he's either one of those guys with an accent. I don't know enough about him. Oh my gosh, he's only in this one memory. All right, let's go on to the next, the next one in the in the murder memory. Um, is that you? Yes. All right. You have been found guilty by self-confession of the murder of Nunzio Pasquale. As captain of this ship, and by the authority of the East India Company, and thus the Crown of England, I sentence you to death by firing line. Mr. Wolf, when you are ready. Great, sir. Ready, men. In. Fire. All right, so that is Hok Seng Lao. And they have said that he killed 
uh, a fellow by the name of what what did they say nunzio nunzio pasqua passenger italy and that's him oh oh that's wait that's nunzio wait brains trying to frantically tick that wait <laughs> that is the guy that we just saw Nichols knifing in the previous chapter in the previous part that part that we just watched murder part one Nichols knifed him but do you know what it sounds like it sounds like that they are saying this guy knifed him which we know it's not true because we've seen Nichols do that and these guys are saying no 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 this is wrong so does that mean that that there is Nunzio because remember he had that accent I'm gonna put that there he was knifed by by the second mate absolutely that that's what it was yes okay <laughs> all right I'm getting there guys I'm getting there who are these fellows that have the stripy shirt on I've seen more with a stripy shirt I'm quite sure maybe not Oh, it's only you that I've seen with the stripy shirt? He's been in a lot of memories though. I can't, I, I cannot pinpoint him right now. So these are all the mates here. So that's, got, that's the captain. First, second, third. Who are you? Could you perhaps be the fourth mate? So that's the captain. First mate, possibly second, third, fourth mate. He has a different hat on. I would guess that the fourth mate is not as important. Oh, this is, this is that scene right now. This is that actual scene right now. <laughs> Amazing. This is that actual scene. You know, I'm thinking this guy, he's the fourth mate. I think that this guy is one of the mates. I don't know. Because it's only these guys. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. There's another guy with the hat on. Oh, you know, that would make sense that all of the mates and the captain have that fancy hat. So captain, first, second, third, possibly fourth. It's only these guys that have the fancy hats. I didn't even notice him over there. He is an unknown officer. All right. <laughs> So we just have two, we just have two other mates to identify. What are you wearing? You're wearing a white shirt with buttons going down. Captain's got like that neck scarf on. You're wearing a white shirt. Okay, look, it's very similar. I'm not too fussed or clued up on their outfits. All right, this is good. This is good, this is good. You guys must work on the rigging if you're up there, right? Maybe top men, perhaps. All right, <laughs> this is good. I, I'm feeling, 
feeling really good right now. Even though I'm not really getting anywhere. <laughs> I'm feeling quite good. You're the bosun. Hang on, the bosun. Have we identified the bosun's mate? Bosun's mate, French. Would he... Would it stand to reason that the bosun is is near his mate or it doesn't really have to work that way? I don't think he necessarily has to be standing next to his mate. Oh! <gasps> Wait, <laughs> I just saw something. I don't know if it's in this scene. But look, I, it's it's not in the scene. But look, this is a huge clue. This fella, look what he's doing. He's on the wheel. He has to then be the helmsman. Disappeared in the doom. <laughs> okay, I'm excited. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I'm just going to play through until I get um, to the end of this murder chapter. And then I, I might stop. Said so this one. All right. So let's go and find this. He's on. We're on the second deck. And we need to go and find him somehow. All right. Let's try and find that fellow. There. Okay, yes, that's it. So this is the last part for the murder chapter. She was calling out to the captain. Okay, so by the look of it, what happened was after they shot that guy there was a huge commotion <gasps> have I even I don't know if I've even seen that guy there was a huge commotion after all that and they're trying to get away so it, it seems that there was definitely some sort of upset okay so from what I can piece together I mean I'm not sure that fellow the second mate he was the guy that killed the other guy down below in the uh, I forget his name he killed that fellow down below and he was trying to get the shell. He's now kidnapped Miss Lim. I think that the shells must have belonged to these people. Uh, the royal the royal members. Oh, unknown fate? He's obviously been shot. <laughs> The tattoo! He's the guy with the tattoo! Oh! Nice! Oh, I've been looking for him for so long. Shot by a gun. He was shot by... Uh, Mr. Nichols. Yes! <laughs> shot by Nichols. 
And the guy with the tattoo, I've written down what bed number he was on. 37, tattoo. So whoever, 37, 37, Timothy. That's you, sir. I know it. I know it. I know it. That's you. I can't believe I didn't put down his fate. He obviously got shot. Oh, awesome. I'm so happy. Nice. We're doing so, so, so good. Okay, so that's all you guys done. Oh, yeah. And that's when they're loading. They're loading the prisoners. Yep. Claude, he was Claude, I remember. Oh, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. What? Who are you? Okay. Oh, and you, sir. Speared. Perished in the Calling, part one. Oh, who are you? You were on the boat. You were on the boat. He was on the boat. Guys, I don't know his name yet. I don't know his name yet. Damn. Oh, who are, you? who are you? How come I... Oh, there we go. He's been speared, but I don't know. Oh, the helmsman. He's not the guy that lost his leg. Could he have possibly died from that injury? Disappeared in the doom. So he is one that has possibly fallen overboard. When I get to that doom chapter, I should be able to uh, find a lot more people. I'm going to check out this fellow. Midshipman. Unknown midshipman. Exploded. Seaman clubbed unknown. All right. <laughs> I think I'm getting there. I really do. I feel that I'm getting there. I don't know how many times I'm going to have to go over these memories, guys. I don't. I, I'm worried that I'm going to have to go over these memories a lot. Okay, the next memory we're up to is the calling. And that's the one when they're all out on the boats. All right, so I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm really happy with my progress. I feel that I have narrowed down a few more people. Um, finding the guy with the tattoo was a highlight of this episode for me. I didn't even have his death marked down, so you know, <laughs> these things happen. But I think going back over all of the memories is probably what you're meant to do. You just get tossed around everywhere, all over the place. And then once you've discovered all of the chapters and unlocked everything, then you can go back from the beginning, like what I'm doing and try and piece together the story uh, about what's happening. So it seems to me um, the royalty, the royal passengers bought on board some weird looking shells and there was like a mutiny perhaps. There was thieving, murdering to get these shells. They must have been of some considerable value or perceived value as we know that they are not good, they're bad. So that caused everything to just tumble along and start everything so I think I'm doing really well I don't know how many more episodes there will be of this game probably another maybe two perhaps I need to go and start from 
the next chapter again and just see what I can figure out and pick up. We're definitely getting there. I, I'm feeling quite good right now with how many things that I have filled in. All right, guys, going to end this one here. I am obsessed with this game. It is so, so, so good. I cannot wait to play more. It's going to be hard waiting for my allotted gaming day to record because I'm just so obsessed. <laughs> All right, that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one and we are going to go over some more chapters and see what we can figure out. Have a great day, guys. Bye.